It's Miniature Toys Week. During this week, I'll be posting videos of both vintage and modern miniature toys, including Polly Pockets, Japanese Gashapons, and Shopkin Soul Secrets Lockets. I'll also be turning one toy into a craft project, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm the Crafty Missy. And in this video, I'll be showing you my vintage Polly Pocket collection. I love Polly's, but I haven't been collecting them for that long, so I don't have a huge collection, but I am acquiring Polly's every now and then. Later on, if my collection grows, I'll be doing an updated collection video. But until then, let's dig into these Polly Pockets. Let's start with this Polly Pocket. It's a beautiful light blue case and the golden color is quite good here still. It is from 1990 and it is called Midge's Flower Shop. Now this is one of my favorites, but I don't have this as a complete set. So I don't have any dolls that go with this. And I'm hunting this as a complete set. And when I get that, I will be selling this one. So it's a flower shop or a garden. And I adore this because it's so detailed and colorful. Look how they've colored in all these different plants here. So up here we have sort of like a little throne or a chair, many different plants here in pots. Over here we have this sort of like a doorway and there's a parrot in a cage there. Some cupboards over there. I think that's the till. And uh, then down here we have lots of different um, plants there too. So detailed. I can only imagine if I had had this as a child, I would have loved to play a flower shop. You know, which one of these do you want to buy and how much does that cost and so forth. And then down here, we have this little sort of like a play area slash garden. So there is a slide over here. And there are two places there for the doll to stand on. And since I bought this on eBay, it has a couple of different stains like over here and also over there that I cannot get off. I've tried, but I cannot get them off. But that doesn't really matter because, you know, this is a vintage toy. It would have some, some um, stains on it and, you know, wear. So there's a little pond over there and little i love these little stairs here that come down i think this is like a mushroom and uh, there's a little bench over there and over here i think you could also sit over there and um, then there is this gate that actually opens really nicely still so yeah that is such a cute little Polly and I can't wait to get this as a complete set with the dolls because the dolls in this set are really cute as well. The next Polly that I have is this 1990s Polly's Hair Salon. And there you can see it's also 1990. There's no gold left here on the logo, but I don't really mind. It looks fine the way it is. And this is actually a complete set. So there are dolls inside here. There we go. Let's check the dolls first. So here's the first doll. She has quite a good face still. So I really like that. There she is. Here's the other doll. Her face is a little worn, so I'm trying to be very careful with her. And that's the back. So let's look at upstairs first. And this is one of my favorite Polly's, maybe because this gives me such 50s vibes. And I think it might be the pastel colors there that give me that vibe, I don't know. But there's quite a lot to do in here. Up here, I believe this is a solarium. Um, to me, it looks like a solarium bed where you can get tanned, a little cupboard there. And then over here, you can get dried. <laughs> your hair can be dried. You can sit your doll in there. As you can see, I've sat one of my dolls in there. Little stairs go downstairs. And I believe this is like a storage room. You can see lots of bottles in there, some cupboards. And then we come down here along these stairs here. There's quite a lot of things in here. First of all, here is the till where you can pay. You can sit here on the bench and there's lots of little details here. And over here, we have the three 
um, chairs where you can sit in and get your hair done. Lots of things again here. And there's a sink where you can get washed your hair. Here's the other doll. There are two spots to stand on over here and over there. And then we have over here, we have sort of like a little waiting area, I believe, where you can wait and sit and read these magazines before your time or your appointment is. And then there's this floor, which I really like, this checkered floor. And then there is a little, um, so like a door here that you can open. And this one has a little, I don't know if that's a stain or something, but it doesn't come off. I've gone through all of my polys with wipes and, and, and cleaning agents. So any stains that you can see will not come off. But I really like this one. This is such a cute little um, poly and I love it because it has so many details. Just so incredible detail here. So here is my next Polly Pocket. It's the 1989 Ice Skating Party. It has pretty bad sun damage here, as you can see. If I flip it over, you can see that this is the real color, 1989 there. Um, I actually maybe wouldn't have bought this if I had seen this sun damage, but I bought this in a rush because this seller had a few Polly Pockets at good prices. So I rushed to buy them and I didn't look at all the pictures. I don't know if I would have bought this if I had seen this sun damage, but I have it now and I really like the inside. So let's look inside this. There we go. This one doesn't have any dolls either. Look how detailed that is. That is the reason why I bought this. I mean, it's incredible. I don't even know if you can see all the details in this short video of mine. But yeah, this is like a, you know, ice skating party. And uh, there's a hotel. This is, I believe it's a hotel or maybe it's sort of some sort of mall. But anyway, down here we have, I think this is maybe a store. These cute pink little ice skates over there. I love those. There's a till for sure there and some clothes over there. So yeah, that is some, some kind of store. And over here we have this luxury store. We have this these golden jewelry, and I don't know what that one is. It's some sort of ornament, maybe. There's another teal there, and some stuff here that you can buy. So this, to me, gives the impression that this is a luxury mall. And up here, we again some, have some gold. So this is probably a, a beauty salon or a hair salon. So there's a silver mirror, and there's a spot for your doll to sit on a golden vase there. So beautiful. I mean, this is incredible detail. And then we have this elevator here where you can actually put your doll. There's a spot there and it stops at here at the bottom. Also stops here and then it stops up here. And then there is one stop over here where you can put your doll. There's no not actually place there. Um, a place like this for the doll, but your doll will stay there when you put them there and these lovely trees over there. So this is a really, really beautiful set. And down here, again, we have these stairs coming down. And then we have this central ice skating rink. You have two spots for your doll. And then you have this tree here. And then you turn it and your dolls will dance on the, on the ice. There are quite a few spots here for your dolls to stand on. There is one spot here. One spot over there, one spot over there, and that's it. So there are some foods over here. I think this is sort of like a food stall or something. I think that's the till. So you can buy food here. Someone can sell the food. And over here we have, I think, some more food maybe here for sale. And over here we have this area where you can sit and eat. So there's four chairs. I don't have any dolls with it, so I, I don't know if the dolls will actually stay in these, but um, maybe they will. Yeah, so that is the 1989 ice skating ring. Kind of squeaks a little, maybe I should put some oil in there, but it is so detailed and beautiful. So I am actually happy that I got this one. So here is the next Polly Pocket. It's the 1994 Star Bright Dinner Party. 
and it looks like a gift. It has this bow here and you can see some stains over there. But like I said before, any stains that you can see here, I've tried to get rid of, but I haven't managed to get rid of them. Um, there's some gold still left here on the logo. And also there is some sun damage here because this looks almost like an orange color. But when I flip it over, you can see that it's actually pink. So that's the real original color. So let's open this one. So here we go. It is so detailed and beautiful. This one would have lights, but they don't work in this one. I'm going to have to see if I could find someone who could make them work. But if they did work, all these stars and this moon here would light up and probably even that light over there. But this is like an apartment and there is there, there are so many details here. It's crazy. So up here we have sort of like this little balcony area maybe. Uh, we have two chairs and uh, maybe some drinks over there on the table and this um, lamp here and a plant over there. Then we have a couple of different steps here and over here we have sort of like a, I don't know what this room would be like, but uh, sort of like a dressing room maybe, but you can actually move that and there's a different dress behind each of them. Um, this this one is really pretty it's pink and gold and um that one is um purple then there is a little spot here where you can i don't know if you can put your doll there i think you can and there's a mirror in there and there's actually a spot for your doll up here i can't see any spots okay so down here we have the bathroom we have a little bathtub there and look at that we even have a little towel and all these these little bottles that are like shampoo and all that sort of stuff. There's a spot for your doll there and a mirror in here, a little table, a sink, little stairs coming down. Let me change the, this this way. You can see better. And over here we have sort of like a little, I don't know if this would be like a little hall area because you have the umbrella and the boots and the clothes here. So you kind of come in through this area. And then here we have some plants. And I really love that they have colored in all these things that they have put impressions on. So I think that was upstairs. I'm sorry, I can't keep this upright with my camera. So sorry about that. So let's go down now ac across these steps here. We have two spots here. This is the little kitchen area and I love this. There's someone is cooking, there's a sink and a stove and you can open this one up. And I love it that they are colored in here. There are some bottles and things like that. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Maybe that's a TV. It looks almost like a TV, but there's a little um, dining area here and uh, you can actually change the dinner. And uh, these are probably lights or candles. I think they are candles. And when you light this up, these will light up as well. So over here, this is the, sort of look at the basic dining set, but then you can turn it over and you can get dessert. There's some cake over there. And then let's see if I can manage. There we go. This is the fine dining set. I love this idea. It's so cute. And these two um, chairs, they actually move, as you can see here. And then there's this little cart with maybe cheesies and crackers and something like that. Okay. And then we have over here, we have this living room area. There's one spot for your doll. And there's a fireplace and some stuff. And what do we have here? That's a stereo, I think. And um, then we have this little sort of like a balcony area maybe here. Uh, there's a spot for your doll and you can actually open these doors like that. They are really pretty doors. And then still over here, there's one spot for your doll. And then there's this fun little thing here. You have these, these are curtains and you can move them. You can see either the big city or then you can move these. Let me move them. And there we go. And then, or either you can have this sort of like a homes, home scene. You can see a plant and some um, paintings on the wall and some wallpaper. So that's really nice. I really like that idea. So there we go. So I really, really like this set. I would love to get the dolls for this set. And I would also love to get this to light up. So I'm going to have to see if I can do that. Absolutely one of my favorites.
And then we have one of my Holy Grail Polly's. It's the 1993 Fairy Light Wonderland. It's this beautiful pink star. Quite a good gold there still. So there we go. It has all the three original dolls. Here is one of them. Quite a good face on her still. There we go. Here is one of the fairies with her wings. So cute. And here we have another fairy with a magic wand and also um, these wings. Cute wings indeed. So let's look at downstairs first. And you first open these doors and you come into this wonderland. You can immediately see that there is a spot for your doll. There is a beautiful fountain that is lit up. So this one lights up and it does light up this um, copy of mine. And you can see there's a spot for your doll. There's a little chair to sit on. And um, over here we have this compartment that you can open. You can keep something in there. We have these stairs that go up here. And then we have these beautiful uh, sort of like a crystal railings there. And then we have this little area here where you can see we have these mushrooms and I put the dolls in there and they actually dance when you turn this. So that's so cute. There's also a spot there for your doll and a light here and uh, some things over here, some steps that come down over there. And let's see, lots of little details here. There's also a spot for your doll here. And then there is a, this compartment. This is like a table, like a buffet table and a spot for your doll. And you can actually open this one up. That's where I keep my dolls. Well protected, by the way. There's the switch for the lights. There you go. So up here then we have lots of little details. We have this sofa here. We have these steps that go up and there's a spot for your doll. Lots of little painted details here. There's a butterfly and uh, more butterflies over here. And I put one of my dolls in here and this is sort of like a little scene you could say. And uh, there's a light there and these curtains and there's lots of people back there that you can see. And then we have some stars over here. Then we have this beautiful feature here. It's a hot air balloon that also lights up from the inside. There's a spot there. And here you can see there's this little flower. And when you turn that, it goes up. There we go. And it actually reveals this beautiful tree down here. And you can put your doll in there. And there's also another one of these flowers. This one doesn't do anything. And we have some clouds over here. And then over here, you can see we have the, it's like a merry-go-round or whatever you would call that. You can put your dolls in here, but I don't recommend it because they fly everywhere. When you turn this, you know, you see, you can do that. You can turn it and then it just goes around. But the dolls, they really don't stay in here. They just fly everywhere. So I, I try to not do this. And over here, we have some things and another flower over here. And then up here, these are all lit up from the behind and there are some fairies dancing over there. So here is my last Polly for this video. It is the 1994 Polly's Wonderful Wedding Party, and it's a big one. There is some gold still left there, although it is pretty faded. So let's open it. So this one didn't come with any dolls either. So let's take a look at the case. And it has these two extendable flaps that you can pull out open here. And um, this one is just like a little road, I think, that you can 
um, go out of here from. And uh, then this one, I'm not sure what this area is, but there is a little door here. And this is so tight that I feel that someone has not played with this very much. There's a spot for your doll and there's a little barrel here and some flower stickers just like in here too. And these are great areas to put your dolls in if you have them in this set. And here's the garden. First, we have a fountain here and we have this little... Like a, like a statue in here and you can see from this one that it has these little holes so this means that this actually has sound and it has to do with this wedding arch here you can see two spots here for your dolls and when you turn this they move like that under the wedding arch and you can also see or not see but hear this hear the uh, wedding march or whatever it's called Let's bring them down. That's gonna take a long time, that that little song there, but let's let's leave it singing there. So over here we have this area of, you know, we can sit here and there's this table full of food and there's the wedding cake. There's quite a lot of spots here for the um, um, dolls to stand on. And here is a camera and behind it is also a spot for your doll to sit in. And then over here, we also have a little table, two spots there. And uh, there are some utensils here on the table. So someone can sit over there. And let's turn it and see on this side, you can see lots of spaces here for your dolls to um, stand on. And there's the holy book for the uh, wedding, whatever that holy book is. And um, this is sort of like the area where you can get out then, you know, like that. And uh, let's see what we have here. So let's look at this yellow area here next. So we have these two stairs here, spots for your dolls, and you can actually get these up and you can keep your dolls in here. Don't have any dolls for this set, but you can do that. And then we have these banners here, again, spots for your doll. There are lots of spots here for your doll. These two statues, I think those are like lions. And then you have this spot here, maybe for the newlyweds, so they can go there and then you can um, have them twirl in here. And then you can put this up and you have this little area here. Mine doesn't like to stay up here, so I'm gonna have to just keep hold on to it so there's like a piano over here a spot to sit on a couple of other spots to sit on and then some shrubber shrubbery i think you say uh, shrubs and <laughs> bushes and that sort of thing and then these little things here with flowers so this then is upstairs and down here you have this pair of doors that you can open and let's look inside Inside, you can see this table and there are some things on the table, like a bottle and some flowers. So that's sort of like an inside area that you can see there. Then we have this balcony area here and we see this beautiful window there. There are some balloons actually over there. So the wedding is going on. And so up here we have this beautiful green door and then we have this spot for your doll that you can put your doll on and then you can swirl them around like this. And inside the doors, there's actually a table there, like a makeup table that you can use to get ready for your wedding. Both sides of this house open up. So let's open it up, it's pretty tight. There we go. And the other one. So up here we have a little sleeping area. We have this bed and you can lift this up and put your doll in there and then put it back down. Uh, there are some curtains here at the end of the bed and some flowers, a painting. And then we already saw this door. There's a little toilet area here with a sink and a mirror and a little uh, towel. There's a little picture on the wall and these lamps. And then you come down these stairs and we already saw this area. And then we have an elevator here and it goes down like that. And down here we have this column and we have these doors that we already looked at. And then we have this little area here where we have a, it's a fireplace. And then there is a 
I believe maybe that's a gift table or then it's just, uh, you know, cakes and other good things to eat. And up here we have a little sofa to lounge on and then some curtains and you can put your doll in here too and down here some more curtains and on the other side here we don't actually have an area where your doll could stand we just have these windows and curtains So here is my vintage Polly Pocket collection so far. If you love Polly Pocket, leave this video a thumbs up or comment below. If you enjoy my videos, then please consider subscribing to my channel. It would make me really, really happy. And thank you so much for everyone who's already subscribed. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.